I think one pushes back when one has a right to challenge but challenge in a positive way. I think a pushback is necessary when the discussion is more qualitative and subjective. When the facts are as they are, then most people will read them in the correct direction. When you are disagreeing about data, see if there are other people in the room who also have a similar view of the data as you and see if you can garner their support in their pushback. Second, defiance. Defiance actually means disobedience. To say, I will not follow this order. I have had this situation before. When I was the regional manager of Hindustan Lever in the south, one of my people in accounts refused to implement an order which we had agreed. I had no choice but to call his boss and put him on the call and say, hey, I think you need to handle this because this is disobedience now. It's not about defiance. Seek clarity when you are trying to push back. You are pushing back because you are unclear about who has decision rights and who has accountability. When you are unclear about that, it's better to clarify that first about decision rights and accountability before you push back. If you push back with a narrow agenda of this does not suit me, I don't think that will work effectively in the long run. So push back first always in the best interest of the company. And I think everybody at the table will see your commitment and why you are pushing back. Thank you.